Hello friends, welcome to my channel again. I am Dijal Lohar here. Today in this session, we will see how we can configure VLAN in a Cisco manageable switch. So first of all, let us see what is VLAN. So VLAN is a method of grouping some ports at single logical switch inside a manageable switch. Or technically you can say creating multiple broadcast domain inside a single switch can be done using VLAN. In VLAN, you can separate any ports of a switch in a group at separate switch. Physically they are inside the same switch but logically they will perform like uh, they are the standalone switches. So what VLAN can do? It manages your broadcast traffic and increases your overall network performance as well as it can secure some specific device or servers from everyone access at, and it can group a specific device in a single sub network. So there are two methods of configuring VLAN that is static VLAN and dynamic VLAN. The static VLAN is a method of assigning port to a VLAN manually by the administrator as the dynamic VLAN uses VLAN membership policy server to assign port to a VLAN automatically using source MAC address. So let us see how we can configure VLAN inside a manageable switch. So proceed for the lab setup here. As you can see here, I have already created a lab for VLAN and you can see here is the three department that is finance department, management department and production department and every computer is connected with uh, a single switch and this one is a manageable switch and I have already configured IP address for our computers like 192.168.0.2 uh, with the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and the default gateway for every computer is 192.168.0.1. I have assigned IP address statically right now and every uh, every device is accessing each other very easily because they all are in same subnet and they are communicating with each other. If you want to verify it, just ping it, ping 192.168.0.10 which is the IP address from production department and let us verify if we have uh, 192.168.0.6 let us verify the communication 6 yes we are getting reply it means all computer are in a single switch and they are in a LAN so if you want to separate this department logically inside this switch you will have to configure VLAN so let us go for that first of all enable Let's verify whether we have some VLAN in switch. So VLAN brief and as you can see here what we have the result of so VLAN brief command VLAN name status and ports. So the VLAN 1 is the VLAN ID and name default is the name of first VLAN and the status of VLAN 1 is active. And by default, as you can see here, all the ports are assigned to VLAN 1. That is why we are communicating with each other because logically this is a switch inside your yeah, switch. And every computer are in same VLAN, that is why every computer are accessible through each other. And a part of that, we can see here 1002 is for reserved for FDDI VLAN as well as for token VLAN and FDDI net VLAN and TR net VLAN. Make sure that your VLAN 1 is the default VLAN of your switch. So we cannot delete or modify this VLAN as well as this default VLAN are not editable. So we will have to configure some other VLAN with the VLAN number. So let us proceed for that. So I am going to configure a VLAN for this different department like uh, finance department, management department and pr production department. So what I am going to do here is VLAN 2 as we have already used VLAN 1 as a default VLAN. So I am starting our VLAN from 2 and the name of VLAN 2 will be finance, the first VLAN and again I am creating second VLAN, technically third VLAN and the name of this VLAN will be 
management and again for the next VLAN I will create with the name production okay now if you verify the VLAN again so VLAN brief you can see here we have some more VLAN like finance management production with the VLAN ID 2 3 and 4 and as you can see here there is no any port has assigned to this newly created VLAN so what we have to do here is first of all we'll have to verify which port is using by finance department which port are assigned to management department and which port are connected with production department so I have I have just connected every computer sequentially one by one like this port is fast Ethernet 0 by 1 this one is 2 this one is 3 and this one is 4 so these are the computers connected with port number 1 2 3 and 4 and this computer is connected with 5 6 7 and this computer which is connected with production department using port number 9 10 11 and 12 and we'll have to assign these port to VLAN finance we'll have to assign this port to management VLAN and 9 10 and 11 will be for production department so let's go for that what we have to do here is access your command prompt and we'll have to define membership for the VLAN so assigning port to VLAN is called VLAN membership so what we have to do here is interface fast Ethernet 0 by 1 will be in V switch port access VLAN 2 so this is the command switch port access VLAN 2 will assign v fast Ethernet 0 by 1 to finance VLAN okay again for port number 2 it will be in VLAN 2 again for 3 it will be in VLAN 2 and again for 4 it will be in VLAN 2 so let's verify the VLAN again so VLAN brief as you can see here sorry we haven't added switch port number fast ethernet 0 by 4 in VLAN 2 so interface fast ethernet 0 by 4 will be in VLAN 2 and now if we verify the VLAN brief you can see here that the default VLAN is not containing uh, anymore 1 2 3 and 4 but these ports are now available in finance department VLAN so now logically these four ports are creating a logical switch inside your manageable switch and they will connect and communicate with each other but the computer which is connected with VLAN 1 will not be able to access the resource from this computer or this computer will not be able to access resource from this because they are logically in different switches. So proceed for the further department configure terminal interfa interface fast ethernet 0 by 5 which is the interface connected with this management department and I will configure this interface for VLAN 3 switch port access VLAN 3 you can assign each port randomly or you can use the command interface range fast ethernet 0 by 5 to 6 7 8 we can define the range of port using a single command and I will use command switch port access VLAN 3 and all the ports will be automatically transferred to newly created VLAN so let's see so VLAN brief yes now as you can see here VLAN 3 assigned for management 
having port number 5, 6, 7 and 8. So, there are three switches right now that is management VLAN, finance VLAN and default VLAN and they all are three different separated switches inside your manageable switch. So what next we have to do here is let's proceed for the further department like we have another department that is production and production department is connected with 9, 10, 11 and 12. So what I have to do here is interface range, interface range fast ethernet 0 by 9 to 12. 9 to 12 will be in switch port access VLAN 4. So, using a single command, I am assigning all four ports to production VLAN exit and exit. Now, if we verify, so VLAN brief, we can see here we have logically four switch inside our manageable switch that is production switch which is having 9, 10, 11 and 12 port number, management switch which is having 5, 6, 7 and 8 VLAN and finance which is having 1, 2, 3 and 4. So because they are in different switches, they will not be able to communicate with each other. Let us verify it again. Earlier we used command ping to verify the communication like we were getting reply from uh, 10 and 6. Now again try to access from finance department like ping 192.168.0.6 and as you can see here we are not getting reply because physically they are connected with the same switch but inside switch they are logically in different switches. Let us verify the other IP and we are not getting reply. But if this computer try to connect or communicate with this one, let us verify the IP address that is 4, they can connect and communicate with each other because they are in same VLAN. So logically they have separated with each other and they will not be able to access resource from this VLAN or this VLAN because management is a standalone switch, production department having their standalone switch and finance department has their own separated switch. So, this is not necessarily the uh, port number must be in a ra random sequence. You can add any up port in a particular VLAN like if you want to configure a, a server here, server here, I am connecting this server with port number. 24 fast Ethernet 0 by 24 and I am assigning IP address for the server as 192.168.0.100 and the default gateway is 192.168.0.1 whatever and now no one is going to connect this server because the port number 24 is inside VLAN 1 as they are in different switches. So, which department will able to access your server? So, you will have to define configure terminal. If you want your finance department can access your server, what you will have to do here is interface fast ethernet 0 by 24 which is the server interface. So, I am going to do here is switch port access VLAN 2. So, now, so VLAN brief and you can see here that your finance department switch is having 1, 2, 3, 4 and 24 port number. It means they are in a single LAN. But these computers are not able to access your server because logically they are in different switches. So you can easily configure your VLAN with the manageable switch. So guys, this is the first chapter of VLAN. In our further video, we will see some advanced topic related with VLAN. I hope you have got a basic concept of VLAN. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please do subscribe and share with your friends. Till next video, bye bye.